here. So we're going to have a little look at some more fractional indices. We've got k to the 3 tenths times k to the 2 thirds. So it's the multiplication law, which means I've got k being my base to the 3 tenths plus 2 thirds. Now the difficulty with this one is that they don't have the same denominator. So if you want to do it by hand, I'll just break out over to this side over here. We need to work out a few things. So 3 tenths plus 2 thirds. We want to work out what a common denominator is. So what do 10 and 3 both go into? Which would be 30. So 30. Um, now, to get from 10 to 30, I needed to multiply by 3. So I need to multiply the top by 3. So that would be 9 on 30 plus... How do I... I want the denominator to be 30. To get from 3 to 30, I multiply by 10. So if I did that to the bottom, I have to do it to the top. So 20. Now, once we have a common denominator, the rules of fractions say I just need to add the top. So I've got... 29 over 30. So moving back over here, I can say this equals k to the 29 on 30. Now, this is the trick. I'd really like you to be able to do that and show me the working of it. But if you're feeling really underconfident with your fractions work and finding common denominators, there is nothing to stop you using your fraction buttons on your calculators. And simply plugging in 3 tenths plus 2 thirds. And if you do that, you'll still get 29 over 30. And you can just write it back.